We're gonna do some bone broth today. Bone broth is so good for you. It's a great way to extend your fast, or if you're doing one of those longer fast periods, you can pepper it in at the end of the night, and it has very low glycemic reaction, which means that you can have some of it and satiate that hunger that you're feeling, warms the belly, and it has such great nutrients, such as uh, such stuff that's, that's pulled from bone marrow, like, uh, like calcium and phosphorus, and also some of those deep proteins and lipids that are stuck to the end of these bones. So first of all, these bones I collected over about two weeks. These are just chicken bones that I've been eating. And I just throw them in a Tupperware and put them in the fridge. They last just fine, they don't mold, they don't really go bad. And you can really kind of stack this up until you have a nice bowl of, of bones to use. And not just chicken. If you're eating pork or you're eating some steak and you have bones, throw it into that bucket. And then when it gets full, you have yourself a nice, nice uh, stack of bones to start your bone broth. And it's super easy and it's super delicious. And your house will start smelling like bone broth when you start doing it, it's fantastic. So we're gonna get into it. So you got your bones. Right? We need a crock pot. Bigger the better in my opinion, but whatever size you got is fine. We're just going to add those bones just like this. Now, we do want to add some apple cider vinegar to this. Now what this will do is it will start to break down those collagens in there. The acids in this and the vinegar will do it. also adds another flavor profile to the bone broth, but you really need it to start breaking down some of those proteins and those fats and the bones. So we're just going to add a little bit. I don't really go into crazy measurements for it. I just like to cover the top as much as I can with apple cider. That's when you know you just want to cover it. Excellent. Real easy. You're not going to go wrong with apple cider vinegar. We're going to put a lot of water in here so it's going to dilute everything so it's not going to be very strong. So we put that in there. Now we want some salt. I like salt in my bone broth quite a bit. Now if you're not a big salt fan, that's fine. Start with a little bit of salt and then when you, once you make it and you want to start drinking it, start adding the salt that you want. Just what, however much you want. But for me, after doing it for so long, I know about how much I like. This is a quarter cup. So I'm going to use a quarter cup kosher salt, real easy, just like that. Don't worry about if it's too much or too little if you get a, bit, a, lot, a little bit in the, in, the, uh, in the pot when you're doing it. Not a big deal. So let's just go and sprinkle that over top, just like that. Yeah. All right. Now normally, I like to kind of let it sit, uh, just to let the apple cider vinegar kind of take hold. But just for the purposes of the video, we're going to go ahead and put some water in here. But you know, I would let this sit maybe a couple hours, just put the lid on it. Don't turn it on, just set it to the side, let that vinegar kind of soak in and get going. And if you're already cooking in the kitchen, you can easily put your crock pot out, put your bones in there, apple cider vinegar, salt to the side, put it on, and then do your cooking, and then at the end of your cooking, just go ahead and put some water and turn this on. But for now, let's just go and put some water in there. Of course, Use filtered water. Don't use tap water. Filter as much as possible. I have a giant Brita. I'm always filling it up. So look, that's it, guys. That's this is how you make bone broth. Um, you know, it really helps you use some of that the, the extra stuff left over after you eat some chicken or your meats, and uh, and then it really makes some delicious stuff at the end of uh, of about 24 to 40 hours. We're just gonna let this sit and cook on medium or high, your dealer's choice. And then in about 24, 48 hours, we'll come back to it and it'll be ready to go. We'll show how the end goes. We're going to strain it and we're going to put it in jars for later. But now, just cook it, set it to the side, forget about it. Enjoy.